Hey, what's up everybody? It's Taikina Beauty. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I do cosplay and I do green beauty. I am trying to transition to eco beauty, so join my journey. I'm going to take this off. Join the journey with me to a healthier, organic, non-toxic lifestyle. If you guys cannot tell, my hair has grown humongously. I'm very happy with my hair now. It's a little bit matted up from playing around with it, but nonetheless, I think it looks amazing. I have a pretty exciting video for you guys today. I think you guys will really appreciate this video. I'm pretty excited about this video because I am doing a blush video. This video was something I needed growing up when I used to YouTube beauty gurus, and I could never tell my blush shade. I never knew if it was right for me, what should I get. Of course we know the trick that if you pinch yourself that's the color you should get, but I've always had trouble with blush. I have some blush on right now, um, I'm not too sure if this is for me. It's very rosy and red, I think this will look very pretty on a browner skin tone. So I think I need to go lighter, but I love blush, I love makeup in general. I wanted to make this video for people who want to know a little bit more about blush and where they should go and hopefully this video helps you out and i also have some swatches of powder foundation i have a problem with finding powder foundation for me so we're gonna swatch this take pictures and we're gonna see which blush looks best and how we play with blush and where we can put blush it's just gonna be really fun so i'm so excited to get into this with you guys if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. So before we start anything, I'm going to try to remove this blush. So I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and just take that makeup sponge and then just go like that just to get it off. Now we're going to look for my shade this is by the brand of course i don't know the brand black minerals they are vegan organic non-toxic makeup i'm trying to transition that way so all of my products i use now they aren't commercial makeup brands anymore they are non-toxic organic cruelty free vegan it's just ingredients you know that's basically what it is i just want to put ingredients on my face that i know for health reasons and for beauty reasons too as well i feel like the more natural you are not physically but natural with your ingredients the better it is for your skin i'm going to swatch these foundations on me and see how they are pretty excited because i don't really have foundation powder but i would like to go into that because sometimes i like the look of it and i ordered their samples so we're going to see the one that fits me. I'm going to take a guess and see which one is mine and see if it's right. So I know for sure that hazelnut and honey are going to be a little bit too dark for me. These might be my summer shades. But I think sand or peach. Am I peach? Peach may be the one. Let's try the shades I already think are going to be not the ones. Not the one. I feel like I'm like coming off the camera. If I am, I'm just gonna draw myself there. So let's start with hazelnut, cause I don't think I'm hazelnut. And how we're gonna test these, we're gonna put it on the back of our hand. Gonna take a brush. I'm just gonna lightly tap this. That looks yellow. Not saying nobody can be that. Oh my god, I'm getting this on my pants. Yeah, this is going to be too dark. That's what it feels like. I'm going to put it on my face. These shades look so similar. I'm just going to like... I feel like, can y'all see that? Yeah, that's like a little bit too orangey. But like they are believable colors and the undertones are really good. 
that's not gonna work so I feel like it's a little bit darker and the undertone is definitely yellow um so now we're gonna go in with honey I feel like this is the same color I picked up this is very yellow so like this is like yellow I'm not I think this is a little bit just too yellow um yeah let us try on this one yeah so like I feel like this is too light it's just not my shade but it looks dark at the same time if that makes sense this is not my shade maybe it is because my forehead I don't know so no to that that was honey okay, so no to to honey and hazelnut I feel like maybe these could be my summer shades no I feel like that's too yellow because when I tan I get very brown I don't get red I feel like this may be my color butternut these just all look like the same colors to me okay so what I get from hazelnut it's a little bit more orangey then honey is just pure honey it's just pure yellow and then with butternut it's like a mix between the two let me put this somewhere let's put it up here yeah can y'all tell the difference yeah it's just super yellow I just feel like yeah it doesn't match okay now I'm gonna go on those two shades I think may be it I'm gonna put it on this hand so let's start off with peach because I don't think I'm peach maybe these are very yellow colors I'm gonna try them on that's a lot This is getting so messy. That's definitely not my color. Like, it's just yellow. I'm gonna show y'all. Yeah, like, is that my color? I don't think so. I'm so lost. I'm just, I'm so lost. No, that's just, that looks crazy. Oh my gosh, and I have like, it everywhere. Okay, let's try to take a picture. No, like I'm not yellow like that. It's just very yellow and I feel like I'm gonna just have to play with it because I don't know what's going on. Now we're gonna, I don't know what's going on right now. This isn't, it's, it, it don't match. So no. Do y'all see this? I'm looking crazy. So, peach is not my color like I thought. All right, let's try sand. I feel like this is giving ash. Why is it? I don't know. I'm about to. I'm about to get a second opinion because this is funny. Like, uh, it. It just looks like I put turmeric on my face. And I'm not saying people aren't this color, like no disrespect, but I'm about to see. Yeah. So that totally is not my foundation shade. I took a flash picture and it looks absolutely insane. In pictures you can see like yellow, like ash. I'm not a, I don't believe I'm a yellow undertone. My family, they always make fun of me because everyone has brown and red undertones in my family and I do not. Um, I'm a little bit more on the neutral side, but I wouldn't consider myself yellow. And I know you guys were like, it doesn't matter your light. Yeah, it doesn't, but like, I can't find foundation shades because it's either too red, too orange, and I'm not orange. I'm like neutral, It's I, it's a weird undertone. And it's not yellow like this is yellow I know girls who are this color I'm not this color it's beautiful but I'm not 
This look like I got popcorn dust on my face. I feel like none of these shades are my shades. Okay, I'm gonna try hazelnut one more time because I feel like that's the only one. And I feel like that's still too dark for me or too orange. Yay, yay, yay. Maybe I can try butternut. We're gonna see. Because that's just crazy. Okay. I'm gonna just put one on my face. That's crazy. I fell when me and my friends, we, we hung out and I have like a horrible scar. Yeah, so since this is a foundation powder, I'm just going to put on moisturizer and then put the powder on because I don't want, yeah, this is not my skin tone. That's crazy. I'm going to put some on and then just mix it with the powder. My skin's like going to break out. That's okay. It's been breaking out. It's really pretty. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, I miss I miss them so much. So I'm going to try, heck no. I'm going to try either honey or butternut. But I'm going to try hazelnut for sure. So I'm going to try hazelnut on one side. This is crazy. See, I feel like that's too orange. I always have this lovely problem. But I feel like I could get away with this shade in the uh, summertime. Because I feel like essentially, yeah, it's like a one and a half shades darker. But I feel like it matches my forehead. So I feel like hazelnut may be the one. We're going to take a picture. That was crazy. Yeah, I feel like this is a little bit darker. Feels like I've been playing in clay. Yeah, it's darker. So I don't feel like this is my shade. I feel like this could be my summer shade. And I I never am stacked on a summer shade. So I might buy this because this might be my summer shade. But I feel like it matches my forehead perfectly. But I feel like it looks like a contour. That's how you know it's too dark for you if it looks like it's trying to contour on you. Yeah, but it matches my forehead perfectly. My forehead is so weird. I don't know why I did that wing so long, but I did. And we're here. Yeah, that's a little bit too dark. So hazelnut, so let's try butternut. And then from there, we're just gonna... I feel like this is about to look so yellow. Yeah, too yellow. Oh, I got this all over myself. And I wanted to take pictures. I feel like this is kind of like mediocre. I feel like this is one shade lighter. This would be no, because it's still too dark. Look at my hand. Girl, you're looking. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm, it's giving Cheeto effect. Like this is this is like before the girls get into tanning. And then it just starts looking orange. My high school I used to go to that I graduated from that I won't disclose. But in the state I lived in, all the girls, they like were pale and they would dye their hair black and they would tan. And when they would tan, they would look like this. And this is like super Cheeto-y. It's just not my color, that's why. Yeah, it's like too orange. I'm about to like take it with flash. Not one bit. Hell no to hazelnut and heck no to... Let's try honey. We're gonna try honey. I'm just really pressed to make this work. So butternut was a hell no. Hazelnut was no. Where is honey? We're gonna dabble into honey. Do y'all see this? Oh, it's crazy. Okay, here's honey. I feel like honey was like really yellow. I look so orange <laughs> on the camera with this on. It's not okay. 
I'm really disappointed because I thought one of these would work. And if I go darker, I feel like it's just going to get like those red undertones that I'm not. But it's weird because like when it's like not a black owned company, it's like red and I'm not red. This is weird. Well, you guys, we're going to figure it out. It's okay. I need to stop using makeup wipes. They're so not good for you. Let's try honey. Because I feel like that was in between. I still don't think it's going to work. Who are you going to try? Okay. Mm, no, it's not working. So I feel like honey might be the closest thing. It works. So I feel like honey would be the closest. Yeah. I feel like it's still giving Cheeto vibes. It is. Giving curry, man. Yeah, that's too yellow. I mean, that's too orange. If something's orange, I don't like it. We'll not be using their stuff. So we're just gonna stay with the, with the sand. This is crazy. I like I'm giving like full on The Simpsons right now. Bruh, this is crazy. I don't know what like <laughs> like it's in that same primer but like not the same undertone. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, I'm just gonna put one side in foundation. This is crazy. Never have I ever. I'm just gonna put some foundation on one side just so we can get the blush better and like see how it affects so like that plays a part too yeah like definitely does we're just gonna pretend i put translucent powder on this shade is like perfect now we're gonna start with our our blushes because i feel like these blushes are really good i'm gonna start with Plum. I feel like plums are for more darker skin tones or not my undertone, but let's put it on my hand and see how it looks. Yeah, like that's very like bruisey, so you kind of don't want that, but we're going to try it on anyways and just show you how it's not a good look. Yeah, you see how maybe this would work. I like to do this when I do wear blush, just so it blends in. Another trick when you do apply a blush, you always want to pat it here first so it's not too hard. Okay, maybe this blush does work. Yeah, I actually do like plum. I actually do like it. It's just you don't want to have it like this. Maybe a little goes a long way. Yeah, I actually do like it. Yeah, I actually really like Plum. It's giving me like natural, like, oh my god, she's like alive. Yeah. Okay, so the next one I want to try is Adobe. This is like a clay blush. It took a lot. Very like orange blush. I feel like this would look really good on tan skin. I like this. Blending to your heart's content. Okay, so I'm not against this blush either. I just need to blend it out. <laughs> I'm just going to take this on guard out. I 
not see that. This, maybe this is not the one for me. It's crazy because I feel like people be looking like this. This is not the blush for me. Yeah, I look sick. No. I look like I have hot flashes. But this will look so better on someone else. Girl, you look sick. No, ma'am. do like the range beauty um foundation that is the liquid foundation i'm putting on my face right now i'm just happy i finally got my color next one we're gonna do is so i like plum i do not like adobe <laughs> i'll use this as an eyeshadow um let's try let's try toasty next i feel like toasty is another red one it looks very clayish. I don't think it's gonna look good on me. Yeah, it looks very similar to Eden, Eden, at Adobe, but it's like more red. Yeah, like I would love a orange blush, but I'm too. So I actually like Toasty better than I like Adobe because I feel like Adobe was very orange but this has red in it so I can kind of get away with it a little bit, just a little bit. But I still like Plum. I still feel like this is like kind of like sick. Yeah. Maybe I will wear this if my tan was, when I get a tan, it'll look better, to be honest. Because this is still giving, like, sickly. And you don't want a blush that makes you look like you're hot. I mean, if you want to, go for that, but not me. That's not what I'm going for. This kind of makes it look like I'm hot. It's not bad. I just don't think I'm used to a blush like it. Let me keep blending. But Adobe was just too... Yeah, it's not bad. I would go for it. I would do this for more in the summertime and then do the plum in the wintertime. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. But I like plum the best. Plum and toasty so far. I feel like I like the name because it does make you look like you're toasted um so next we're gonna go in with glow and i feel like glow is like a bronzy type of blush oh my god yeah because it's like very very orange and i think i would like this because it's not as deep as the other one but Yeah, like I like how it warms up the face. It's like nice. It's like a glow. So I feel like glow should make you glow. That's what a blush should do. It should make you like glow and not like you ate something hot. I actually really like that. But I feel like this might be too overwhelming for me. And I feel like it'd be more beautiful in a darker shade. This does make me tempted to try the medium shades, but the medium shades are going to be very, I feel like very, not my undertone. So we're about to put some more daily moisturizer on, and then we're just going to foundation very quickly, then we're going to put glow on. I hope this is like helping you guys to understand like the use of blush i personally um don't use it that often but lately um since i've tried these i've decided to like just go with it the only thing i don't like about this pump is that you can't half pump and if you want 
just a little bit you can't you just have to take it all I don't I don't like that I know that's right I got that Cardi B song stuck in my head can't wait to wear these blushes out. I already wore one of them out, but they weren't that great. Come on, glow. So this is glow. Glow is really orange. I've always wanted an orange blush, but I feel like orange blushes don't look good on me. I'm gonna try to like, oh my god, I'm like getting these pants horribly messy. Yeah, this will look so much better on brown skin, you know what Maybe uh, this would be like a cute, I'm just giving like orange, like jack-up lantern right now. I don't think I should be wearing this. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I look like the Cheeto man. Absolutely not. I look like the Cheeto man. Orange bless is beautiful on deeper skin tones, golden skin tones, but not mine. This is giving very, when I did my jackal or lantern Halloween look, when I did my tiger Halloween look, it's just giving Cheeto the Chester. So there we have it. That was my blush video. I hope that helps you guys find out your blush. I'm wearing oh, what blush would suit you. I am wearing Toasty right now. I really like the colors. I just didn't like most of the colors on me. I do recommend the brand. Just because the colors don't fit my shade, it may fit you. So definitely do try those out. I will link everything below that I tried on. I did have Current. Current was like plum, but it was like really red. I wore it when I was in New York City. I didn't like it because I felt like it made me look super hot red, but again, I think it would look gorgeous on darker skin. This is a black owned brand, so I do expect for them to cater to darker skin, and that's totally fine. I haven't found my true shade so far, which is fine. I'm still looking for it. It's either too light or too dark not the right tone but one day i will get it i will get it but i like this blush i like it for like a summery blush and then i'm going to use the plum for like a winter blush i'm super excited to try it this weekend but i will take pictures for you guys but thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and if you are going to subscribe please hit the notification bell twice so i know the next time when you I know you know the next time when I post a new video. I'll see you guys in my new video. Until then, bye beauties. Love you guys. Bye.